This is Eugene Pandrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo B50 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on a Lenovo B50 laptop computer. Before we start, we need to turn the computer off and remove all sources of power, and in this case, that means removing the battery from the bottom. So, to do that, we close the laptop, flip it over, and the battery is right here. So we slide this lever outward to unlock the battery, and then slide the left lever outward to and slide the battery out. While we're on the bottom of the laptop, we can take a look at where to find the model number for this. It says B50-45. Also, it says 20388. Make sure that the laptop you're working on says one of those two things to make sure it's the right laptop. Next, we're going to show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end. That helps us to pry loose things and to remove adhesive tape. And finally, we have a pair of metal tweezers, and that helps us manipulate cables, and also it's used as a prying tool. Okay, the first thing we need to do to get to the screen is to remove the screen bezel, this plastic frame around the screen. In this case, it does not have any screws, so what we can do is put our fingertips on the screen side and using your fingertips or fingernails gently lift the screen bezel up and out and it's going to snap off like so. And we keep going around the screen bezel and snapping it off <clears throat> and also same thing on the bottom like so. And the screen bezel comes off easily. Next step is to remove the screen from the screen assembly. To do this, we remove the two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. Now, for the top, we remove the two inner screws. There's some outer screws and inner screws. We just remove the two inner screws, and on the bottom, we remove the two screws, two inner top screws. There's these other two screws. Don't remove those, just remove this one. And same thing here, just remove this one. So to do this, we tilt the laptop screen back a little bit, make sure the screen doesn't fall forward when we remove it, and take the screws out one by one and put them in a pile for safekeeping. So that's two. Three. and four. Once we do that, and I did not follow my own advice and removed, the first screw I removed was wrong, so I removed the outer screw, not the inner screw, so we put that back in. The other ones I removed correctly, so this first screw I did not remove properly, so let's remove the right screw, like so. Now what we can do is grab the screen by the top or by the screen, by the mounting tabs, gently separate it from the screen assembly and gently lay it down like so. Okay, next step is to remove the connector from the screen so we can separate the screen from the screen assembly. Okay, to do that, there's some adhesive tape and holding down the connector, and we want to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape with our hobby knife, just enough so we can grab it with our fingertips and try the other hand to see if we can grab it a little bit better. Okay, lift it up some more. and try again. Okay. 
and it's coming slowly. It's very tough adhesive, but we can do it. We could remove the adhesive tape, being careful not to damage the screen or the connector. And remove the tape. And remove the tape like so. And next thing we can do is peel or bend the tape back, grab the back of the connector and gently slide it out like so. I'm going to slide it back in just to show you how to properly engage the connector. When you slide it back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And also, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap between the two seams in the connector. The two seams of the connector, two edges of the connector, should be flush with each other. Okay, we pull it again, out again, and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch EDP screen with the standard 1366 by 768 resolution. The part number for this screen is B156XTN04.1. B156XTN04.1. That's the part number you look up. Now, when you do get this screen in, most likely you won't have the same part number, but the screen should look the same and the connector should be in the same place. Uh, the other thing to notice is this screen has a 30 pin EDP connector. There is another screen that looks exactly like this except the connector is 40 pin. The connector is bigger and it's, it won't work with this laptop. So when you order the screen make sure you're getting the EDP screen. Finally uh, the finish on this screen is matte and they can be interchangeable between glossy and matte so if you have a preference for one or the other you have to specify it when you're ordering it. You can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in the video. It comes for free with the screen. Also we have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we sent you is not compatibly, compatible, we sent you the, we'll exchange it for the right one at no cost. Finally we have a two year warranty on our screens against defects. And we do have free shipping in the continental United States and it's priority mail so it'll get your screen in two to three days. And if you live outside of the United States we can ship to most countries around the world to, uh, to order if you're outside of the United States just go through the normal checkout procedure and select your country. To order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons uh, there will be a little information, information uh, icon on the upper right hand side of your video just click that and that will be a link that will take you to link directly to the screen or you can go to www.screensurgeons.com and um, there will be a short form for you to fill out which for where you select your model number and I'll guide you to the right screen. Okay, once you do get the screen in, reconnected as I showed you, mount it in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom, and snap the screen bezel back on and that's it, you'll be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.